Hey, what's up, guys? We're Flat 56, and you're watching AZ Productions. Now let's see you move around. This is, a, this is a punk show, you guys. It's not a wine tasting competition, all right? <laughs> move around a little bit. Have some fun. Here we go. Thanks for coming out. AZ Productions, and I'm here with Platform 56. You guys want to introduce yourselves? Uh, yeah, I'm Justin, I play drums. I'm Eric, I play the bagpipes. I'm Tobin, I play guitar and lead sing. Uh, my name is Kyle, I play bass. Or mine is Brandon, he plays mainly. He's over there, somewhere. <laughs> you guys are like, tour extensively all the time. You guys get off on tour, you start another tour, in between that you guys play random just festivals. When do you guys find time to just like be yourselves and enjoy life? When we're doing interviews. I never <laughs> thought about that. That's a good life. I thought this was here. life. <laughs> uh, it's tough for sure. Uh, we definitely we do get time at home. We do tour a lot, and uh, we kind of when we do go home, we really are at home. You know, we try and really like hang out with the people that we're missing. You know, our families and stuff like that. We're, we try and bring them out on the road with us too. That helps a lot as well. But uh, yeah, we we we're just, we do tour a lot, and uh, we're trying to focus on touring smarter now, and like being on tours that are uh, maybe try not to spin our wheels as much. You know, trying to do the best tours we can, or not overlapping places we just hit and stuff like that. So we're trying to we're trying to work on that probably in ourselves. Go to that uh, work hard or. Work smart, not hard. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Not bad, not bad. You guys are playing tonight with the casualties, lower class brats, down by law, all these like staple punk rock bands. Um, you guys play the Celtic punk rock music. Uh, still punk genre, a little bit different taste. You guys ever find yourselves um, trying to play with bands with punk rock genre, or you try and like step outside and play with different other groups? Uh, we play we play the punk scene a lot. I mean that's that's kind of the scene that we're in. But at the same time, we're not against playing with anybody. Um, the cool thing about Celtic punk is that it can cross so many different lines and so many different 
periods where you can play a pub one night and then go and play a punk show the ne next night. And, you know, uh, play a Celtic festival and then play a punk festival. So there's a lot of diverse things that we can uh, partake in when it comes to being in a band. Um, because it's a cultural style that, because the bagpipes and mandolin, the influences of those, uh, makes the appeal for a little bit broader than just, you know, for your punk show, so. That's what I like is, is music that's A, diverse. I don't always like to be banging my head at the same thing. And B, I have to be able to relate to it. Um, is there any bands right now today? I mean, you guys play with a ton of bands. Is there anyone out there today that you think is doing the thing the right way? Plenty yeah. of bands for sure that are out there hitting hard and, and doing stuff. Uh, I guess the only right way is to work hard and be a friendly person. And then in the punk scene, it's like if you're not doing those two things, and that you need to rethink stuff. I and mean, plenty else, all this stuff you got to do. But that's like first, first off, you know, that's what you got to do. But there's we're always we're always encouraged by bands that are out there touring all the time. Uh, there's a band from Chicago right now called the Downtown Struts that are doing a lot of promotion. <laughs> Sure, so it speaks for itself. Um, that are out there touring and they're getting a lot of like pro productivity. They just had a record come out on Pirates Press record. So like, it's encouraging to see. They're from our city too, which is nice, you know. So um, it's kind of nice to see like bands out there working hard and trying to make the most of it, you know. So on this tour, you guys have been touring for a couple of weeks now. Anything crazy happened, and how's the vibe of the tour going? Is it a good tour? Has there been like band breaking down or any issues like that? Uh, it's definitely been hot. It seems like everywhere we go on this trip, it's like the hottest day of the year. So I don't know if we bring that along with us, but uh, a bunch of the guys from the Sheds, the opening band the tour, uh, they all got uh, tour tattoos of just like a every temperature, like thermostat gauge, totally pinned in the red lines. So that's been uh, it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, it's been definitely diverse. The Sheds are younger guys, and it's been fun having a fresh crew of kids coming with us because everyone else is even better. Kind of like mid range, you know, guys of age and stuff like that. But the tour's been going good. They had some pretty, pretty interesting moments already with promoters and just some of the shadiness of the business. But they, uh, everything's been going pretty good so far. Everyone's, everyone's having fun. And tonight, we unite's a, a good name for, the, for the, the tour because, like, there's not many times when bands like us would play with the Necromantics and we'll get the chance to. And, and uh, so it's been kind of fun to, like, kind of just mix crowds and just kind of have fun. Vibes are really awesome. Like all the bands get along. They're all we all like really enjoy being out on the road with each other. I don't think there's anybody that's like ah, shying away from each other because they don't get along. It's like everyone just has a good time and stuff. So it, it's a very unifying tour, especially since uh, while it's all under like the, the punk genre, the, the band, the band, all the bands are pretty diverse as far as style goes. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty nice. Fun. So, this is Blair signing off with AZ Productions, Platform 56, album Toil comes out on Tuesday, pick that up, they bring the heat.